My name's Emma and I live in the West Country. We have a four bedroom house built about 100 years ago and we've just fully renovated it. We wanted to be more sustainable. We wanted to be sort of off grid. There's no mains gas in the village. So that was out. And we just wanted something without too much CO2. We looked through all the options when we moved here. We were faced with a very old and ugly oil boiler in the kitchen. And we really didn't want to continue with that. So we looked into ground source heat pumps, air source, air to air, air to water, PV on the roof, everything electric when we saw the Smart 120. We have it set to a program. My husband gets up very early, so when he's up at about 5, 30, 6 o'clock, he can lift the lid, put the pan on and there, cook his eggs, absolutely no problem. And then when we come down, I can cook breakfast for my son and myself. Then in the afternoon, it comes on set to setting one, so it's a low setting, which means that it's just heating the water and keeping the house warm, and then I can turn it up in time for cooking dinner later. The great thing about the clover is that you walk into the kitchen, there's a fire burning in the grate, and it's a lovely soft heat, which permeates the whole house and keeps everything warm. It cooks our food, it heats our water, and also it runs on wood pellets, so it's um, uber sustainable. You've got the fuel, it's in your hands, you put it in, you know that it's a carbon neutral fuel, and you, you just know that the stuff that comes out of the chimney is toxin free, and it's mainly just water. And then when you get the ash out at the end, we put it on the garden. It's absolutely brilliant for all the flowers and vegetables. We clean out the fire area about once a week. This soot collects on the top of the oven, and obviously you need to clean that about once a month. And that's very easy as an access point at the top of the hob. You don't have to change your heating system to accommodate the clover. The only reason we changed things here was that we put in new radiators and totally renovated the house, so we changed some of the layouts. Most people have a cold water tank in their loft, which you can keep because you can run this on an open system. We've put in a closed system where we have a big aquaterm hot water tank, and that works absolutely perfectly as well with the clover. It's a very heavy machine, even though it's stainless steel, it's actually a lot heavier than you would think. The sides of the stove get very warm, so designing the kitchen around it was an interesting challenge, shall we say, but it, it, it's actually very easily solved. It does take a while to get used to the idea that every time you put the oven on and you want to cook something, you're heating the water as well. So this is the, the main part about cooking with the Smart 120, is you really have to be aware of how, what the output is. And it's not just nicely cooked food, it's also hot water for the bath and for the radiator. You're very much in tune with what's happening with the machine at all times. Most of the time you've got a little tinkle of pellets and a little tiny whir noise, a purring noise of the uh, auger as it goes around, and of course the purring noise of the fire as well. And it's, it's beautiful, it's really, calming and warming in its own self. So it's all lovely, it makes for a very happy home.